With Sage One Accounting, we make your business administration efficient, easy and understandable. All of this while the system deals with the accounting in the background. One of our favorite features is the Import Bank Statements option. This feature allows you to import your bank statements that you have downloaded from your online banking straight into Sage One. This will save you hours of time. Plus, you can set up auto allocation rules so that basic recurring bank transactions are allocated without you having to do anything. Once again, saving you time. Here is how you import your bank statements. You need to go to the menu bar and select Banking, Transactions, Bank Statements. Once in the Bank Statements screen, you must ensure you have the correct bank account selected in Sage One. You will then deal with the importing of the file that you downloaded from your online banking. We deal with two types of files from your bank, either the OFX format or the CSV format. If your bank gives you the choice, we recommend the OFX format as it requires no editing before you import it into our system. Should this option not be available, we provide guidance on making sure the CSV format is correct, including an example as well as an example file that you can download. Then it is simply a case of selecting the file from your computer and importing it into Sage One. And there are your transactions, as easy as that, ready to process. Let's show you the auto allocation rules now. Once you have updated your bank feeds to pull through the latest banking transactions into Sage One, you can assign bank statement mapping rules. Simply put, these rules will look for particular words in your bank statements and automatically assign these transactions to their correct places in your accounting records. Let's say for example you set up a rule for the word fee and you would like these fees to be recorded as bank charges each time you receive them. What Sage One will do is automatically assign any transaction containing the word fee to the bank charges expense account. No processing required. To set it up, you simply need to assign it for the first time to the correct account and then create the mapping rule. The first field is where you specify what term we should search for in your bank statement. The second field is optional and is simply an option to change the description that will appear in stage 1. You will see that it has been applied to three other transactions within this import. Going forward, each time the system picks up the word fee in any of your bank imports, it will automatically assign the transaction to the bank charges expense account. Sage One Accounting is literally doing the work for you. Again, hours of time saved. Set these cool features up and take your business to the next level.